kingdom people, kingdom people mighty warriors, mighty warriors encourage, believers, encourage believers when kings of the land, kings of the land possessors of life will run it about to watch what so what you gonna do son of the devil's head come on somebody crush his head what you gonna do son Welcome to Heavenly Messages. I'm so happy you could be with our program today. I'm a Prophetess Clark. Praise us unto God, your narrator for this evening. Let us start with a prayer and a scripture. But I have two guests today. Evangelist Kelly and Minister... Michelle, we are so happy that you could be with us. Praise us unto God. But before we get started on our program, let us, praise God, have prayer and a scripture. I always feel good when we pray. Father God, it's once again your humble servant come bow down unto you, thanking you and praising you for your Holy Spirit, Lord, let your anointing fall on this program this day. Bless the sick and shut in. Hallelujah. Bless those that are locked behind prison wall. Bless those that are homeless and have no food to eat. We thank you, Father God, and we bless your holy name. And Lord, when it's all over down here, hallelujah, Take us into your bosom to live with you forever. Amen. Praise God. I always feel good when I pray. Hallelujah. Now, those of you who have Bibles before you, run and get your Bible. And let's turn to Philippians. Hallelujah. The fourth chapter, verses 7 through nine. Again, that scripture is Philippians 4, chapter 4, verses 7 through 9. And it reads thus And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and hear and seen in me do, and the peace, God of peace, shall be with you. That is the word of God for the people of God. Praise us unto God. Evangelist Kelly, how are you doing? Oh, praise the Lord, Prophet. Praise God. I'm well, thank you. Praise God. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and I also have Minister uh, Michelle. Praise us unto God. I'm blessed. Thanks very much for having me. Praise us unto God. I'm so happy that I have two special guests, and we're going to have a good time. Praises be to God. Now, those of you who need prayer, please call my prayer hotline number. The number is 424-204-3229. Again, that number is 424-204-3229. Hallelujah. Praises unto God. I want, uh, yes, our subject today is peace. Praise us unto God. Many of you out there need peace today. This is a troublesome world, but we need peace. And peace is also 
uh, a part of our life. For the Lord wants us to have peace. We weren't designed to worry and suffer and worry about this and worry about that. Many people who worry a lot will not find peace. Hallelujah. Praise is unto God. And we're going to be speaking on peace. Praise is to be to God. At first, we're going to have uh, Minister Michelle. Praise is God. What do, what do you see about peace in your Christian journey? Tell us something about peace but, from what your opinion. But the Lord Jesus tells us, don't be anxious for nothing. So, you know, we give everything, cast all of our, first Peter 5, 7 says, cast all of our cares on him because he cares for us. Yes. So once we give him all our problems, we're okay. You know, Praise we have peace. Praise the God. Yes. See, the world don't have peace. Yes. Because their peace is only temporary. They yes. think, you yes. know, going out for a few hours, you know, getting away from the problem, you know, or going on vacation or whatever, but they'll come right back to the same problem. Peace is when you give it to God. Yes. This peace is internal. Yes. That's the kind of peace that we need. We don't have to worry about anything. He said, cast all your cares. He didn't say cast some of your cares, but cast all your cares on me because he cares for us. So we give him our problems and don't have to worry about it anymore. He'll work everything out in our favor. Because he says right here in the Gospel of John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, but the I peace I give to you, unto you. So when we have his peace, or his peace is internal. It's not like the world's peace. You know, going out having a few drinks or putting our trust in locks. Yes, You know, Lord. security systems. Or yes. Bars on the windows, you know, mm -hmm. all around the house or having pit bulls all in the yard. Then, you know, they'd be surprised when robbers still break on in. Yes. But see, when you have Jesus Christ, you don't have to even worry about all that kind of stuff because, you know, yes. you don't have to have none of, none yes. of those things. Yes. In your house, they'll go buy everybody else's yes. house and rob yours because Praise you have God. Christ. You know, his angel is going to protect you, and Christ is going to make sure you're protected. God. But he said as long as we obey his word and obey mm -hmm. him and seek the kingdom first, then all things will be added to us. Yes. So we will have his peace and yes. everything else with it. <laughs> Uh, praise God. <laughs> praise God. Well, our hearts really did burn. I forgot to mention, uh, what church are you affiliated with? I'm affiliated with the Vision of Hope on 5951 South San Pedro Street in Los Angeles. Praise God. You know, it's a, a non-denominational church. We read straight from the Bible. Yes. The pastor don't teach what she thinks or feels or whatever. She tells you straight what God says, you know, what yes. the Bible say. See, a lot of churches nowadays tell you what they want to hear, want you to hear, what yes. they think or how they feel, what they want, you know, want you to listen to and believe. But she's telling you what the word of God says. Yes. And that's what we're supposed to obey is to him. Not Praise the pastor, God. not the bishop, not the elder or anybody else. Obey uh -huh. God. Yes, no. praise God. <laughs> I notice, is she, is she a female? Yes, yeah, she's a female. Well, female praise God. Preach. What is God. her name? Her name is Wilhelmina Richards. Praise us unto God. She's a, a very sweet woman, and she's, you know, God-fearing, and she really yes. believes in teaching the Word of God. Praise she'll God. Preach, she'll tell everybody everywhere, you know, come on to church. She don't care. She'll be driving down the street. Or she'll be in the restaurant or in the grocery store. Yes. She'll sit there and tell somebody to come to church and start praising God. Yeah. You know, but that's the kind of example that we need. Because a lot of these pastors Praise don't God. care anything about your soul. Yeah. Don't care yes. anything about you. But she cares yes. about you. Praise you know, the son. You know, God. God, he loves us and she loves God and she loves God's people. Well, she's very blessed to have you as a member yeah, yeah. because you give her a high recommendation. Yes. Recommend Praise the son to God. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank Evangel uh, Evangelist Michelle. Hallelujah. I'm so happy you were with us. Thank and you. we got that good thought of peace. Yes. Next, we're going to hear from Evangelist Kelly. God Praise us unto God. God. Pronounce your last name for me. Lyles. Lyles. Okay, Evangelist. What is peace to you in your life, in your Christian walk? What does peace mean to you? Give us a definition. Well, 
prophetess, I'm going to try to make it quick and simple, but peace is so very widely profound. It is so many different benefits in peace. But as me, as a woman, uh, I have learned to understand that Isaiah 26, verse 3, is a very important key in keeping and obtaining peace. And it says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, speaking of the Lord, because he trusts in you. You know, uh, as Minister Michelle very well said how the peace of the world gives you all these open doors and opportunities. It's nothing like when those doors are closed, then where are you at? When those, when the checks stop coming, when the uh, friends stop being around, or when you're feeling desperate and lonely and without any hope, where is your peace then? Oh, let me tell you, it's in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because as you begin to have a relationship with him, the desires and the mentality that you once had before, it will change. You will begin, begin to find peace in the most simplest things, in the most quiet moments of your life. When there's no one around, you know Jesus is with you. When you're reading your word, oh, his word is alive. Let me tell you, this word of God is truly alive. And it will speak to your heart and it will satisfy the very depths of your soul. I'm not talking about that satis worldly satisfaction. I'm talking about like Minister uh, Michelle said, eternal satisfaction. Yes, Lord. Yes. You know, uh, I find out I can't live without it. Yes. And mm -hmm. I've never experienced such great peace yes. that I have since I walked, start walking with the Lord. Yes. And, you know, uh, I must tell you, uh, if there's chaos in your house, you speak the word in your house. You speak the word over your children. You speak the word over your situation, and you will see the manifestation of peace over you. Um, also, if I can give one more scripture. Yes. Uh, speaking of peace, it is not no small thing, uh, and it's beneficial to all who are in the household. Psalms 26, verse 13 says, He himself shall dwell in prosperity. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going too fast. Psalms 29 verse 11 says, the Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. You see, there's benefits in belonging to God. It's benefits and in, in so much abundant uh, provision given to you when you are walking and seeking the Lord. And it does share with us that, uh, when we seek the Lord, we will be rewarded. Well, the rewards are greatly, greatly multiplied in many different areas. Peace is definitely one of them. Praise us under God. Oh, our hearts did burn while you were speaking. Praise God. And what church are you affiliated with? Well, I also, too, am attending Vision of Hope 59, Praise 59 God. A South San Pedro. And it has been a very opening and life-changing experiences since I've been going there. And I just praise God for directing my steps there. Praise us under God. You know, saints, I'd like to say this. I'm going to talk on peace for a little while here. Praise us under God. God wants us to be peaceful. We, Our bodies, our minds were designed to be peaceful. We cannot go around worrying all the time. That's why so many of us have ulcers. We have diabetes. There's many sicknesses. Hallelujah. Well, cause, if you don't have peace in your life, praise us under God. You're going to suffer a, a, a breakdown in your body because we were designed with peace. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you and I could have peace. This peace, he said, the world can't understand this peace. Mm. Many people say, well, I'm going to have me a nice uh, shot of whiskey. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To get my peace of mind. I just can't take it anymore. You know, that whiskey's going to wear off. 
You need that deep peace inside. Hallelujah. Many people go to nightclubs and dance and be happy. These people are escaping. They don't really have peace inside of them. Praise the Son to God. And when you and I do not put God in our life, we can't experience this. Because the world don't experience this. This is why they take so many drugs and do so many horrible things. They're trying to find peace. When you see a drunk on the street, or a drunk anywhere. Uh, the reason they're drinking is the fact they're trying to find that peace that only God can give you. Yeah, Hallelujah. Praise the Son of God. When you s- turn on the news and you hear about these weird things that they're doing, Hallelujah. They're looking for peace, they don't know what it is, they're just escaping. And yeah. dear saints, I want to tell you today. Peace for you and I, I want to say here, when you don't have peace into your life, you try to do things on your own. Hallelujah. And when you try to do things on your own and without the peace of God, hallelujah, God is going to rest. He won't do that. But the moment you get peace in your life, God comes in there and fix it for you. Praise the Son of God. Many of us need to learn how to protect your peace. Yes. 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 When you have peace of mind, protect it. And the way you protect it, you start praising God. When you have trials and tribulations and all confusion around, just say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Never give the devil credit for anything. But God made all things. He even made the devil. Praise the Son of God. A lot of people don't want to admit this, but there's no power beyond the power of God. And he has peace that makes you understand all these things. Hallelujah. You got to have that peace down in your heart. Praise the Son of God. Many of us, we just uh, go and here and there. So many people find peace by just going shopping and spending up a whole lot of money because they're sad in their hearts. Praise the Son of God. Many people just start eating, trying to get peace out of a meal. Hallelujah. Praise the Son of God. But I want to let you know, dear saints, you pray and ask God for that peace because peace is a gift. Hallelujah. You just can't just get it. Praise the Son of God. And the way, like I said before, for you to protect your peace by keeping your mind stayed on Jesus. This is the way you protect your peace. Hallelujah. Sometime if you can't be peaceful, you know, walking is a good source of peace. When you can walk along up and down the street, hallelujah, you'll see a sense of peace that I come over you. Reading your Bible can create a lot of peace. You know, when you get upset, maybe somebody called you with bad news or something, and you needed some peace. But I'm going to tell you one thing. This word that God gives you, when you get upset and you come all unglued, hallelujah, you get your Bible and start reading in the Psalms. This will give you peace. Hallelujah. Do you remember the character in the Bible? Saul. Saul was calmed by David. Saul had David to play on his heart, and that brought peace to him. Saul had sin inside. Sin calls you not to be peaceful. Hallelujah. Praise the Son to God. Many of you out there, praises on God, looking for peace. 
Dial my number. My number is area code 424-204-3229. Again, that number is 424-204-3229. God wants you to come to him. He died, Jesus died on the cross so we can get to God. We don't have to go around worried and upset over bills or anything else. Hallelujah. You keep your peace. When you get a bill and it's too high and you don't have the funds, just hold that bill up and say, I thank you, Lord, for this bill. It might seem a little crazy to those of the world, but those that have the peace of God inside will say, I thank you because they know God is going to pay your bill. Yes, God is going to keep your lights and your gas on. Praise the Son of God. And those of you that are out there, the peace of God is more important in your life than anything else. When you don't have peace in God, your body will break down. This is why we have cancers and all different types of diseases in our body, because we don't have the peace of God. Praise is unto God. My dear hearts, please just dial my number. Praise is unto God. He said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I will be a God in it. Praise the Son of God. Just call me on the phone and we'll pray or sit down and write me a letter. Write me a letter and put things on there that you want God to do for you in your life. Hallelujah. I love those letters. I take those letters and I put them on my prayer altar and I pray daily for them. Praise is unto God. I've got so many requests from so many other people. Hallelujah, praise reports. I love those praise reports. Praises of God. If this message is helping you, let me know. Praises unto God. And those of you who would like, I won't deny you to give a love offering. Praise of God. Donation. Praises unto God. But if you don't have that donation, send me those letters that God will bless you. Praise is a God you have not because you ask not. Hallelujah. And we'll go to the throne. I put those letters on my altar and you'll be dialing my number telling me of the miracles that the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you. Praise the Son of God. Many of us out there, hallelujah, are just worried about the condition of the world. Praise is on the th- You can't be in the world and be with God yeah. and experience the benefits, hallelujah, of the saints. Hallelujah. You can't have both worlds. You can't worry in the world and have the peace of God. Praise is on the God. I'm just so happy that you're watching this program. And God is going to bless each and every one of you. Hallelujah, that is watching this program. It's going to be a blessing in your life. I see in the spirit, the Lord Jesus is showing me in the spirit, there's three teenagers out there. Praise the Son of God. And your mother is worried about you. Hallelujah. Call your mother. Let your mother know where you are. If you don't want to go home, call your mother and let her know that you are alive and doing well. Hallelujah. There's, I see this lady. Hallelujah. She's buying a house. Praise us unto God. And this house, hallelujah, is some paperwork that hasn't been done. Hallelujah. And you're worried about it. Call me. God will fix it for you. Hallelujah. And this young man that is locked behind prison walls. Hallelujah. And they don't seem like they want to let you go. Praise is unto God. Call me if you can. Praise is unto God. Dear heart, 
We have not because we ask not. All Christ wants you to do is to accept him and believe in him. Hallelujah. And he'll give you that peace. Praise the son of God. Those of you who are frightened, there's a, there's a lady. Hallelujah. I said, lady, she's not a saint. But if you call me, your husband will stop abusing you. Hallelujah. He doesn't hit you, but he's mentally abusing you. Hallelujah. Praise the Son of God. Call me right now. I praise the God. I see another brother. Hallelujah. You can't find a job and your finances are really down. Hallelujah. Just pick up the telephone. Hallelujah. And pick and call me. And God got a job for you. Praise the Son to God. Hallelujah. So you ready to leave your family? Don't leave your family. Stay. Hallelujah. And call me and God will turn these things around. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the God. There's somebody who got a check. Hallelujah, that is in the mail. The Lord said give 10% of that check to any church that you need. Hallelujah, and God will bless you with twice as more. Praise the Son of God. Pay your tithes. Hallelujah, praise the Son of God. As it's a lady I see in the Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, you've been laying on your bed for a long time. Hallelujah, and do have a telephone. Just pick up the phone and call me. My number is 424-204-3229. Again, that number is 424-204-3229. Hallelujah, and the Lord is going to bless you. Praise is unto God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, many of you out there need to talk with me because the Spirit of the Lord can be on the telephone. It comes through the telephone. Hallelujah. And brighten up your day. And I'm available to you 24-7. Anytime. Hallelujah. You need help. From the Lord Jesus Christ, just call me. Praise is unto God. Dear hearts, I love you. I love you out there. And the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Praises be to God. Well, for this program, my time is almost up. Praise God. But until this time, next time, may God forever keep you. The apple of his eye. I love you, dear hearts. Call me. Amen. <laughs> Jesus can work it out. Work it out for you. Come on, one. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. Do you hear what I say? Mm -hmm. Jesus can work it out, work it out for you. 